are we rolling? Yes, we are. What's up, guys? Bro, I'm Kimmy Crane here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new comedy movie that came out like last week. It's Will Ferrell in it, and uh, what was what's the other actor's name? I I know it ends with like Mick Adams or whatever, but I can't remember. And uh, that movie is it has a very long title. It's literally eight words long. The movie I'm talking about is Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga. Um, this, the movie is, oh, by the way, this is spoiler through free review, so I'm not going to like be getting into the plot a lot. I'm not going to be getting too deep into the plot anyway. So the story is uh, about a, a dude named Lars and... Uh, What's the other girl's name? It's like Shika or... I, I can't remember. It, it began with like a... It started with like... The first part of it was like she's something. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I know it was weird. And that's why I can't remember it. Whenever there are like, you know, unique names that I've never heard before. Like, I can never remember them for some reason. You would think it would be the exact opposite. But that's just the way my brain works. Anyway... And they're from Iceland, and they're childhood friends and stuff like that, and uh, they enter into a Eurovision Song Contest to, like, you know, win. And uh, whether or not they win, I'm not going to tell you, because that would be a spoiler. Anyway, I really like this movie. Like, this movie was, like, uh, really fun, like, the silliest way possible. Like, it's one of those, like, you know, classic, you know, Will Ferrell comedies that, like, you know... Like, don't take themselves too seriously, you know? <laughs> but, you know, kind of new at the same time. But, you know, it it's always got, like, this, this silly this silly tone to it, you know? And this really fun tone. Will Ferrell is really funny in this movie. Like, whoever that... <laughs> I cannot remember her first name, you know? Whatever Mick Adams, like... Whatever first name she has, uh, I know her last name is McAdams, but they were both great in this movie. Yeah, uh, um, I really enjoy like the whole cast in this movie. Like, what this movie is good at, like one of the things it's good at is like making you love the cast, making you love the characters, and yeah, I do love the characters. This movie can be a bit predictable at times, like a lot of comedy movies, but like you know. That's not really a bad thing in this case. Like, sometimes when a movie's predictable, it's just so, like, predictable in such a way that you're just like, oh, come on. Like, there's, like, bad predictable, and then there's just, like, predictable that, like, you know, it's just p predictable, and it's not bad at all. Like, I actually, <laughs> I actually think it was, the story was very good. It was very well. It was very well written it was a bit cliche but who cares there were heartwarming moments in this movie i loved it it was funny it's 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 not as uh it's not the best comedy movie of 2020 um uh i would give that one to the king state island but you know wait me Yeah, I, I think I'll give that one to the King Staten Island. That That's probably the best comedy movie so far. Uh, I might be wrong, but like, you know. Um, uh, I, I might be wrong. There might be one better than that that I'm just, I can't think of. Uh, let's see, what other, what other comedy movies have come out this year? Well, not a lot because of COVID-19, but like... Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's probably the best one. Uh, I can't really remember, like, you know, all the movies that have come out this year. Because, like, I don't know why. I mean, there haven't been a lot. But, like, you know, a lot of them, like, have just been, like, under the wraps. And they're saving them for, like, after this whole quarantine crap. This thing is over. Anyway. So, um, 
uh, yeah, this this movie was really funny. It was great. It, the characters were likable. Like, it could be like really bizarre at sometimes. Like, I'm just like, what the heck? But it's like a good what the heck. I, it was like weirdness, but good weirdness, like uniqueness. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I just had a lot of fun with this movie. And I think you will too. Anyway, like, subscribe. Oh, by the way, I would definitely recommend this movie. If I hadn't already made that clear enough. Oh, 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 I didn't give this a score yet. Anyway, so I would give this an 86% out of 100, which is an A-. minus. Love this movie. Not a, not a 10 out of 10 movie. Like, there was a lot, there were a lot of things awesome about this movie, but they just weren't 10 out of 10 awesome. They were like, they weren't 100 awesome, they were like 86 awesome. <laughs> anyway, I love this movie, and I think you will too. I already know I, I already know I already said that. I know I already said that, but like, you know, seriously, go check this out. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe, join the notification squad, and uh, comment down below what you thought of this movie. And uh, I will return. Yeah, yeah, ding dong.